So, for our first video, I decided that I would do a minimalist bedroom based off of Google Images. So, I was looking here and scrolling through. I had to think of like what I had based on materials because right now I can't go out and buy anything. So, the one I found had a lot of what I already had. I'm not going to make it exactly like this because I ran out of popsicle sticks, but um, I found another one that also can kind of, we can kind of mix the two and make one. I like the little table that it has in the clock and I really want to try and figure out how to make that dandelion picture. So this kind of gives us an idea of how um, I want to make the minimalist bedroom that we're going to make today. So first, take a recycled cereal box, take a pair of some sharp scissors, and cut along one crease of the box. Carefully open up the bottom and unfold it, crease the creases that are already there into each other and fold it down. Then open it back up and you will get a large sort of wall. Take your glue gun, lift the flap on the bottom and glue it so that this stands up straight and your other corner. So this is going to be our room wall. Minimalist rooms are usually white and so is the one in our picture. So I'm going to take some white cardstock. It looks to be about just the right size. Cut a strip of paper so that it fits sideways in your box. And it's okay for yours to have any gaps in the corners like I do, because we'll take care of that later. And lastly, a piece to fit the other rectangle of the box. Take your hot glue gun. Um, you can be sloppy with gluing here. Just make sure that none oozes out. And glue on your paper to your box. Okay, so it's alright if your corners have some gaps. Cut long strips of foam board about a fourth of an inch in width. Cut them so they fit and cover your gaps of paper. And it should look like this. Use more to cover the top trim and bottom trim. So your room should have some nice trim. I'm going to do this to the inside and along here to the other outside as well. So you should have a pretty nice um, base once your trim is all glued on. Just to give you a full view of what your room should look like. I cut a 12 inch by 5 inch piece to go as the bed, cut a 5 inch by 2 inch piece, cut a smaller piece and glue it to the top. I'm going to glue two beads to it so it looks like a drawer. Flip the bed over, use a good amount of glue and attach it to the wall. I took some leftover pieces of trim, cut them into three equal pieces, and I'm going to glue them onto the back to make a sort of modern headboard. Found some fake polar bear fur that can work as a bedspread. 
I quick glued some pillows and filled them with fabric instead of fluff to make them squishy but not overly poofy. I also found some pink lace I'm going to fold up at the end of the bed. I printed and cut out a horse picture, glue it to some cardstock so it hangs on the wall nicely, squirt hot glue on the back, and I'm going to hang it centered above the bed. I also printed out a picture for inspiration. Um, hexagon shelves, plants, oils, a camera, just some cute things. So let's get started on that. I cut out a rather long strip. Going to measure my strip, and it is five and a half inches. Actually, no, hold up, it's six. That's perfect. At every inch, make a crease with your nail. I found it actually works better to make a slit, not all the way through. And it can help you fold a hexagon shape. After you've made one, glue it on the next wall make five more and continue to glue them to your first one you can make a honeycomb like design that looks like this glue some fake moss into a bead to add into some of the hexagon Cut and add some cardboard shelves for extra added detail. I completed mine by adding in beads, fake plants, small shells, just anything really you can find. Trinkety stuff. Actual Barbie items will work as well. I'm going to take a pink cap, squirt glue into the base, put a yellow clear bead inside like a light bulb. I attached it to a piece of twine, or you can use black wire as well. I'm going to take a glass bead with a large hole, thread the twine through it, and slide the bead all the way down right to the top of your fixture. Now, attach it to the top of your cereal box. I took a plastic bead container and wrapped it in twine for a stool. I'm going to add one of Rain's desk decor plants and put that next to it. I also cut an old placemat for a rug. Now let's set it up. We have now completed our minimalist style bedroom based off of a Google image. Thank you for joining us for our first video of season two, making doll rooms based on Google images. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more videos like these. Also, let us know if you have any Google images you would like us to recreate. Thanks for watching. Keep crafting.